SMTP is another protocol that is, again, I know this looks like alphabet soup, but SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transport Protocol. SMTP uses TCP port 25. It usually sends plain text or it can be encrypted. So imagine this is basically just a letter that gets sent back and forth across the wire. Um, unless you encrypt it, it's very easy to be able to sniff it and read it right off of the wire using a, a sniffer application. So TC, or TCP port 25 is what it's gonna end up using. And then SM, SMTP is very often used by email servers to be able to send and receive messages between each other. Uh, there's different protocols that are used by the clients. They typically use POP or IMAP or you know, a proprietary mechanism to be able to retrieve messages. So like in the case of Microsoft Outlook, they've got a proprietary way that they communicate to the Outlook servers. Bottom line is, the, this is pretty much how email is sent back and forth throughout the internet. Now, why is this useful? This is useful from a UCS director perspective because SNMP, uh, SNMTP can be used to send alerts to administrators. So if something's going wrong, you've got the ability to be able to you know, configure those different uh, components. And that's gonna allow you to uh, leverage, you know, uh, be able to configure these within UCS Director so we can send out those alerts to the different administrators. So at this point, we'll do a quick demonstration and show how to configure SMTP in UCS Director. In this demonstration, we're gonna show how to configure SMTP or Simple Mail Transfer Protocol in UCS Director. So why does UCS Director need to be able to send emails? It doesn't have friends out there on the internet. Why would it need to do that? Well, the reality is UCS Director uses email as a way to be able to send out um, information about service requests, to be able to uh, you know, request approvals from administrators. There's a lot of very valid reasons why you would want the UCS Director system to be able to send out emails as an alerting mechanism. So in order to be able to configure that, we have to go to Administration, and then we go to System, and then from there, we can go to mail setup. So mail setup will allow us to be able to set an email server to be able to uh, you know, communicate to from UCS Director. So the outgoing email address for SNMP, we would actually type that in here. So as you can see, it's pre-configured. I already put this in before when we, when we initially set up the system. You also have the outgoing SMTP, SMTP port, which is port 25. This is standard. If you had something different in your environment, you would have the ability to be able to modify this. You also need to have a username and a password uh, to be able to allow for security from a um, email uh, uh, you know, creation standpoint. You don't wanna have an SMTP server out there on the internet that anyone can send email through. That's how spammers do spammer stuff. You also have the ability to be able to set an outgoing email sender address. So here we've got demo uh, user at dcloud.cisco.com. This could be whatever you want it to be. It could be UCS director at, at uh, you know, your particular domain name.com. You also have the UCS uh, director server IP address that you're going to use as the source. So here's 198.18.133.112. Bottom line is very simple to configure. And in fact, you can also send a test email if you want to choose it. And this will allow you to be able to send an address out um, so that you can make sure that everything is configured as, it's, as it should be. Once you're finished, just click save and everything is updated. And that's how you configure SMTP and email settings within UCS Director.